Good day YouTube. Today is the 12th of February 2021. This is my uh, newly acquired 1986 Club Car DS 36 volt electric. And we put a couple videos out on this thing, just kind of fixing it up a little bit. It's going to just loan it to my father-in-law for as long as he wants it. And uh, so he can hit the golf course again. Um, in previous videos, we got it working. We put all new batteries in it. Uh, we put new tires and wheels and center caps and lug nuts. We put electric heater in it. Uh, we put some lights on it. Um, we're cleaning up the old uh, plexiglass enclosure that somebody has uh, made for it. It's not great, but it serves its purpose, I guess. Um, and today is this kind of one of them days. It was freezing rain all night. I've uh, had to dump like four buckets of warm water on my car to get it open. Took my wife to work, so we only had to break into one car. Um, it's just raining. It's just starting to thaw, finally. Kind of one of the miserable days. I've got three little heaters going out here in my solar shed. Because um, I'm kind of out of room in the shop. So it's taken a couple, three hours to get it uh, comfortable to work in out here this morning. But we finally made made it comfortable so um we are going to work in here for the day uh, for a lack of a more comfortable place to work so we're going to take on this corner what we going to do is fill that in a little bit i guess we're going to fiberglass it for the most part um what we need to start off doing is make some sort of a backer piece um for it and for that i have uh managed to cut out a piece of cardboard I'm not going to use cardboard but we're going to use it as a template um, to cut maybe like a piece of aluminum to tuck back in here there's a couple different angles um, to deal with so we could this top flap um, we might have to put some slices in it to we're just trying to make some backing material that we'll, we could fiberglass over the top of um, we'll rough it up we'll rough up the aluminum after it's cut out and fit and then uh, we'll probably bond it in place so I've taken uh, hard to call it a wire brush it's a fiber brush I don't know if you guys have worked with these before I had a friend of mine a couple of friends of mine stopped by um, a few months ago and one of them showed me this fiber brush they were on their way to Harbor Freight to get something and I thought, uh, well, that's pretty cool. He goes, here, you can have it. I'll pick up another one. I said, no, no, that's all right. I'll go there every day. Um, so I picked one up the next time I was in there and then stuck it in with the rest of my wire brushes. Kind of forgot about it for a little bit. And I drug it out, oh, a few weeks ago when I was doing something. And then, wow, this thing really works good. So I've taken it uh, on the inside. It's going to be impossible to show probably. And brushed away all of the dirt and the grime and so forth so um, I, something will bond to it with this. I can spin in either direction and then I've kind of roughed up the edges of where it's broke. And uh, that thing worked really, really good. Highly recommend uh, you guys picking one of these up. I've used it on metal. I've used it kind of polish. I mean, it's rough. You're not going to like put a mirror finish on something, but if you got a piece of old ratty aluminum or something um, and you wanted to get to, you know, more uh, aesthetically pleasing, that thing will do a good job. Um, so I'm still uh, using it for different things. This was a good opportunity to use that and it worked really good. So I've got two different angles here. This is kind of flat and then this is a, an angle piece. So. Um, this should be able to curve in here pretty good and then put a bend, probably some slices to get this uh, kind of put in there. We'll probably have to dig a little more at this, get some resin in there, um, get everything kind of backed. Uh, probably going to just adhere the aluminum uh, by using some fiberglass resin and then clamp it in place till it dries and then come back over the front of it with a few layers of uh, fiberglass mat or fiberglass cloth, whatever I have. I have a bunch. Um, so we're not going to have to 
go to the store or anything. And then we'll just, you know, grind it, make it look good, throw some Bondo on it, try to find some paint that's pretty close, and call it a patch. If it gets broke down the road, oh well. I think while we're at it, we'll work on this just a little bit. It's kind of broke right there. It's kind of loose. I think I can get a wedge back to sus some suspension to push it back out. Maybe a clamp. Maybe something. We'll get it figured out. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just want to be better. Alright, so let me go cut a piece of aluminum and uh, bring some fiberglass working stuff out here to the shed and we'll get this party started. Alright. Alright, the aluminum that I had was really stiff. It was going to be really, really hard to work with. I didn't really want to go anywhere and get anything. So I had this piece of flashing. So, and it's very, very flexible, but once it's stuck, I, it'll have some stability to it. So I think we're going to use that. Let's uh, have a look. It wasn't quite as wide as I wanted it to be, but it'll be all right. It's enough to get in here and, and back this. Um, I'll glue it in with resin and put a couple clamps on it. And that'll be enough to give us some support for the fiberglass. So, uh, it's time to mix up some fiberglass. It's just, uh, most of the stuff I, I have kicking around, I, you know, I grab it at yard sales and auctions and whatever. So, um, got some used, uh, resin. I poured it into here. It's pretty cold out. It's still, like, freezing out. So, yeah. You don't need much of the activator. Probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going for ten drops. Then get these what they call chip brushes. Harbor Freight, get a box of them or whatever. We're going to use it to stir this up. Nice thing about gluing the metal in with the resin is its dry time is pretty good. Which means we'll be uh, completing this in no time. I'm going to see if I can get in here and get it right on the fiberglass. Put it on the fiberglass and on the metal. It'll block your view, but there's not much to see here anyway. Okay, I'm going to put a little on the metal itself. Early in the week they said we were going to get some snow out of this weather system, but it all ended up going north of us. Some people think that's a good thing. Not me. I like the snow. One clamp. Clamp. This clamp came out of the inside. I had the bracket C clamp to the dash for a propane heater.
Okay, that's good. Now then. See if there's enough in here to get a first coat and a first layer of cloth in here. Stuff is so cold too. I pre-cut these a little bit. For a pretty good fit. Resin is so cold and it's old. But it's going to work. Should have just made a bunch, but I didn't. It's a mess. All right. That's a reasonable base. Um, I'm going to let that cure up. And then uh, we'll make up quite a bit more resin. And uh, we'll get this. Probably have to do one from the inside for that little gap right there. And then that'll be alright. Well, they make a, a Bondo with hair in it, people call it. Or fiberglass reinforced uh, filler. Um, which we can build up this corner after this, or we can continue to just do fiberglass. So, so we've got a couple of options there, so we'll let that uh, cure up for a little bit and uh, go from there. All right. I had to run on a two hour wild goose chase for no particular reason. I came back in my uh, cheap yard sale uh, fiberglass resin wasn't hard so it didn't take um, so I ended up pulling everything off I'm gonna go get some new stuff and start over all right went to the store and I got the what I what they call bondo with hair fiberglass reinforced bondo I'm sure there's more names for it than that um, Just to give you an idea how old this thing probably is and probably why it failed, the price on it is $8.89. Price on it today is 30 bucks. <laughs> it's probably 30 or 40 years old. And uh, it's been sitting on my shelf for a very long time. So, <clears throat> lesson learned. When it gets that old, chuck it. 
Just chuck it. So we're going for the uh, Bondo with hair or the fiberglass reinforced body filler. You can see how it is. It's very structural. Um, and we're going to smear it on this thing. We're going to put it in place and then we're going to build up the surface with it. Um, it's very difficult to finish with this, like to get a really nice finish. So we'll use regular Bondo at that, at the point where we want the nice finish, you know, that last sixteenth of an inch or whatever. Regular Bondo. This looks like a lot. It probably is. Just getting it out of here. So, yep, real fiberglass just would not harden up. Stuff's a little tough to mix. But the nice thing about it, it will set up. We will get to finish this today. Well, maybe not completely finished. How are you guys handling the COVID thing? Today in Oregon, the restaurants are just being allowed to reopen. So I'm seeing a lot of dining room open signs in town, which is wonderful. Put some people back to work. Um, I know we've lost a few restaurants that will not be reopening. They didn't make it. So depending on what it's like where you live. Hope you're supporting those small local businesses. Um, now especially, as they're struggling to stay afloat, keep their employees employed, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. I took one of my uh, spreaders, my Bondo spreaders, and cut it down a little bit because I didn't have a real small one. Stuff is fun. This is fun to work with. Trying to get her back here. Where I'm going to clamp it. We've got to work quickly. Trying this again.
Bondo oozes out. Let's see if we can drop this one a little. Alright, here's what it is. Now, get it out of my container with my stick. Gonna be a moment when this stuff starts to harden. That's the you got that 30 seconds to work with it at that point. Right now it's a little soft. I think I've crammed a bunch in the in between the metal and the crack there. Not very pretty at the moment, is it? Not very pretty. Alright, let's let that harden up just a little bit. Try to catch it before it gets too hard. Alright, it's the next day. I just started uh, grinding on the filler there. My short cords here in my little shed. <laughs>
pick at this for a little bit and uh, we'll try and build that up a little bit, I guess. I should have got that backer a little lower. Didn't. Hmm. That may be a good work on it. Well, round two. See how this goes. I still didn't bring a cord in here. Right there at the limit. Sculptor, I guess. So I need to go get some uh, uh, rough sandpaper and a sanding block from the shop there, and start roughing this out by hand a little bit, and uh, sand on it with a, a block instead of a grinder. But anyway, starting to get a little shape to it, I guess. Well, I used a 36 grit sandpaper and a block to put the shape in it and uh, put the first coat of just regular Bondo on it. Um, we'll try and bring that body line back. Um, it's going to take some more 36 grit sanding and probably another coat down there at the bottom. Um, but you know, that's the way with Bondo, you put it all on and then you sand like 85% of it back off again. That's the way it works. Um, so we'll let that set up for a little bit and come back and sand for a while. I got that coat sanded down with 36 grit. Gonna have to throw another you know, skim coat on to fill the craters and then we'll go oh we'll get a little bit of 36 grit in but uh, I think we'll go to 80 grit um, and then we'll you know, start finishing from there but just got a few craters to deal with but the general shape is there. I think the body line sags a little bit, so work on that. But uh, progress, progress. Bondo is slow because you got to wait for it to cure and all that jazz. So this is a you know just one of them Saturday deals. TV's on. Uh, had a friend need a special little part, and I made that. And while I was waiting, so there we go. So I'll go uh, mix up a little more, spread a little more, gather up some 80 grit, and uh, we'll keep roughing this thing out. Hopefully we'll get it in primer for the day's over. And uh, I don't know what we'll do for paint. Honestly, don't. Figure it out as we go. All right, we got that one uh, sanded down. I think we're about done fiddling with it. It's just a golf cart. I'm going to go grab a can. I think I got some high build primer in there somewhere. We'll tape this off and uh, prime it up and uh, go from there. Not sure what I'll do for paint. 
I don't know if I got anything anywhere near close to that or go to the store and see if I got something close. We'll go find out something. But uh, as far as body work's concerned, that's close enough. I got that body line kind of in there. Just did it all by hand. I don't have a compressor out here in the shop bigger than that little one gallon on the shelf that takes nine hours to pump up. And uh, yeah, don't want to make a mess in the big shop anyway. So let me go find some primer and get it sprayed. All right, guys, we have fast forwarded to Sunday morning. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. You'll be here. I guess I hope you've had a great Valentine's Day. Took the wife to breakfast. Restaurants just opened up two days ago in our area, our counties. So we were able to dine in for the first time in two, three months or so. So I have soaked a piece of a 500 grit wet and dry sandpaper. We are going to sand this primer down. I put about three good coats on it yesterday. Um, one just far left. So it's had you know, a significant amount of time, like 20 hours to dry. So, um, wet sanding this down is just going to take the, uh, hopefully the imperfections and tops off and uh, maybe fill a few scratches and sanding marks and that sort of deal. Um, when wet sanding, you know, as soon as you've gone through the primer, you know, or starting to go through it, that's it, you're done. I used a high build uh, primer, so it should be actually quite a little bit on here. I should be able to sand it down um, pretty smooth. Um, on our way back, we went to a restaurant a couple towns away, the town in between us um, is a, was a Walmart. Not a big fan of Walmart, but I did stop there, and they did have a very large selection of spray paint, and I got some paint um, that was a, not certainly not a match, but uh, close. It was called uh, White Sand. It's as close as I can find. Um, on camera, it probably looks dead on. It's not going to be dead on, but it's closer than what I made yesterday. I gave it a shot. I was as close as I guess I could find on the shelf locally. So, we are going to be able to get this uh, painted today. And... Uh, Pretty much call it a wrap, I think. Um, I should see if my father-in-law wants me to bring this to his house. Stick it in his garage and he might could enjoy it around the neighborhood a little bit. Turn the heaters on. So the paint will maybe dry today. Almost done. All right, we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it ready. Let's uh, wipe her down. Well, 
far from perfect. Remember, presentable. At uh, six blistering miles per hour, should be undetectable. Or from the next green, it should be undetectable. I'm feeling good about all the Bondo dust on my tire cover, so I think I'll change that. I don't want to get uh, dirt on my new tire. Let me work on that just a little bit. That like appeared overnight or something. some resin over here somehow or the other. Somehow or the other. I got a Bondo mess right there, but you know what? I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to paint it. Get rid of my strap. You can see what I'm doing there. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that strap. Do a little cleaning up and we'll paint here in a minute. Alright, it goes nothing. Um gonna take that glove off so we don't get no drips. got a sag in it. Bring it. Alright, bring it back. Alright, last coat. I put one on off camera, so just painting that. Ain't worried about it. Alright, we're calling it. Calling it a wiener. All right, I'm gonna take it off the jack now. Well, I think she looks okay. Um, it's really close enough. All right, guys, that's it. We got her cleaned up. We got some wheels and tires on it. We put a heater in it. We put lights on it. We repaired that corner that was essentially missing. Reconstructed it, if you will, and. Uh, I think we're good to go. I want to just do a little bit of, you know, cleaning up the dust that I've created from sanding and so forth. And I think we're going to call it done. Guys, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing if you haven't. Please hit the thumbs up on your way out. I would appreciate that. We'll catch you on the next video.